Now let's make some corrections to my great uncle Nick's photo. You'll notice in the layers panel I've already duplicated the background layer and I have renamed it scan so I will be making destructive edits on the scan layer but remember I do have my background layer as a backup and nothing's happening to that layer. In addition on my history panel I still have my snapshot from when I opened my image. Okay, taking a look at this picture, the first thing we probably see that we need to fix are any of the creases or folds that have happened in the photo. So what I want to do is I'm just going to grab my rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to draw a selection around this area over here and let's use our content aware fill command that we've used previously. We're going to click on edit, we're going to point to fill, and then we want to make sure next to use it says content aware and we're going to click OK. When we do that, command D to remove the selection, you can see that it did a pretty good job of removing and replacing the selection that I had there and getting rid of that crease. Let's try the one up here at the top. Again, I'm just going to use my rectangular marquee tool, edit fill, and OK. Command D to remove and we can see that it did a really good job up there. Now up here on the left, if I use my rectangular marquee tool, let's see how that works. Edit, fill, and OK. You'll notice what happened was it kind of brought in some of the other parts of the image, a little too much of the light area. So I'm going to back up a little bit, Command Z, Command Option Z. And instead of using the rectangular marquee tool, I'm going to use the lasso. Let's zoom in first. Now remember, you can use any selection tool. They really prefer that you're using your lasso tools or your marquee tools for these types of selections when you're doing a content aware fill. And I want to make a loose selection around that crack. And I'm going to choose Edit, Fill, Content Aware, and click OK, and Command D. Now you'll notice what happened there is I went a little too high and it actually took part of the image there on the left and replaced it. But that actually looks pretty natural because of the other parts of the image on the right where some of that colorization is missing. Okay, I'm going to get my hand tool, the H on my keyboard. I'm going to move down. And you'll notice that we have a crack here along his shoulder, right above his uniform. Let's try our lasso tool again with that one. The letter L calls out my lasso. I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to draw a loose selection around that crack or that crease. And I'm going to use my edit, fill, and OK. And I'm going to do command D. Now what you'll notice happened was it actually copied part of his uniform because it's so close to his shoulder. So I don't want to use that one. I'm going to get my history brush. I'm going to bring back the area we want to correct with my history brush and I'm going to show you a new feature to CS6. Under our Spot Healing Brush tool, let's select our patch tool. Now we've used the patch tool before where we used a source or a destination, we made our selection, we clicked and we dragged. Now we can actually use Content Aware with the patch tool. So next where it says Normal, I'm going to click and hold, I'm going to choose Content Aware. Now I'm going to draw a loose selection, but not too loose because I don't want to go into his uniform, around that crack, and now when I click and I drag to pull up the area that I'm going to pull from, so I'm dragging my selection to the area that I want to use to replace my selection to create my patch. I'm going to let go and it fills that area with that selection I just pointed to. Let me do a Command D and you'll notice it did a much better job than using the Content Aware Fill command because it got part of his uniform. You'll notice also on the Options panel or Options bar where it has adaptation, you can actually select or tell Photoshop what type of selection you've created and how loose it is compared to the area that you're correcting, the patched area. Okay, let's try the bottom part of this picture where we have this huge crack here on his arm. And let's see how the patch tool does using Content Aware with this section. I'm going to drag a selection around the crack. And this is much looser than my previous selection, so I could probably change my adaptation from loose to very loose. Okay, let's click and drag, and let's see what happens. Now you'll notice as I'm clicking and dragging, 
I could actually bring in one of his buttons by mistake or his tie, but I can see what's going to be put in the patched area as a preview before I make my choice. Let me go over to his other arm and see how that does. You'll notice now that we're actually losing part of the definition between his sleeve and the body part of his jacket. Let's see what happens when we release and Command D. And you'll notice that it did a very poor job. And this is because we made too large of a selection. So let me go ahead and back up. And what we would probably want to do instead is we'd want to work in sections. We wouldn't want to do the whole thing at one time. So let's just try this upper part of his arm. Again, I'm making a loose selection with the patch tool. I'm using Content Aware. I'm going to click and drag, and then I'm going to release Command D. And you can see that did a much better job. So working in pieces, it may take a little bit longer, but obviously you're going to get a lot better result than being impatient and trying to do the whole thing at the same time. And you, of course, continue to make corrections and remove some of those scratches and continue to correct the creases.